Hello. Hi. Today is March, I mean, April 12th, 2016. Hi, everyone. Um, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit today about, um, I want to talk to the empaths today. I am a major empath, and as I grew older, I found out that I was an empath maybe a year or two ago. I found out that I was an empath. And it explained uh, so many things about myself when I found out that I was an empath. I didn't know why I was the way I was. Uh, but, I, you know, I found out that I was an empath. And in finding this out, it's been so difficult to be around. I, I, I wonder, is it like this for all empaths? I think it's difficult for me because I have, uh, you know, I have so much family stuff that's going on with me. Uh, my transition into this and then uh, just family family members that that's just dysfunctional. Uh, I can pick up on, on that. And it's not that I be, you know trying to be judgmental or anything. It's just very difficult for me. And I wonder, is it, is it like this for other empaths? It's very difficult for me to be around you when I know I'm picking up all these um, thoughts and feelings that you have about me. You may be, be looking a certain way. You might, They can be pleasant as possible to me. But I know... I can pick up, I can pick that up. So it's very difficult for me to be around certain family members, even though they're not being ugly towards me. I still, I still can read that. I still pick up on that. So I, I wonder, do uh, some of you have the same problems? Uh, so I just, I kind of distant myself away from them because uh, I know they're not genuine. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're genuine on the surface to me to be nice to me, but, gen, you know, uh, on the inside, they don't really, you know, care too much for me. And so it just makes it difficult for me to be around uh, fake people. And it's difficult for me to be fake around these type of people. And I just wonder, is it, is it um, other empaths like that? It just makes it very complicated. Uh, for me to be around um, certain family members, you know, especially when it's always has been discord among us. And then we try to, um, f you know, forget about the discord and, and start fresh. But that discord, I can still feel that discord within that person. You know, so it, and I, you know, I try not to bring it up. I try not to speak on it because people... I found when being an empath, we have to really ignore, pretend like we don't know what's going on with people because we know if we address what's going on with people, they're going to deny it and, and they're going to call us crazy. So it's very difficult uh, for an empath to be around someone and know what's going on with them, but they can't say anything. They have to live in this uh pretend thing with them so it's very hard for empaths to to be around people that that they know uh really don't care too much for for us so it's hard for us to be around fake people especially we can when we can really pick up your true intentions and how you genuinely feel about us uh and i'm having the hardest time um uh, with my family with that it's so difficult to be around them because i know you, they put on a happy face. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them put on a happy face. But like I said, it, you know, you can see the full... When you're an empath, you can just read, pick up on people's emotions and pick up on their true intentions. And sometimes you can hear their thoughts, you know, uh, when you're an empath. And I, I, I see that a lot. And I try not to react to that. You know, I try not to react to that. I try to... Uh, address what they're showing me on the surface you know what I'm saying but I I see the deeper I see the deep the deeper uh 
you know, the genuine thing, how they really feel about me. So it's just, it's very difficult to be around uh, people like that when you're an empath. Um, I spend a lot of time alone. Uh, I'm just very peculiar about um, who I'm around. And I do, I do like, uh, you know, I, I, I'm really good at energy healing and uh, reading, doing in, uh, intuitive readings card readings. I'm really good at that and doing energy uh, energy healing and stuff. But I try to really keep my distance uh, I, I stay out of crowds and stuff. Uh, yesterday we went to the grocery store and um, I don't know, I don't think I had my crystal on because I usually carry my crystal everywhere I go uh, to help keep my energy protected. But I was in the store yesterday and I just start feeling uh really apprehensive, you know, just apprehensive. Like I felt like people would just crowd in my space, you know. I, I I was just like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm being attacked, you know. And I had to go in my mind and say, okay, these are these energies, you know, that's that's going on. You're gonna have to, you know, get yourself together, you know. Instantly, I went inside my mind, say, okay, you're just gonna have to hurry up, get your things, and get out of this store. And uh, and I was telling my fiance about it. I was just like, I just felt like everybody was trying to, on oh, my energy, just you know, just was up on me. It's like people were like so close to me in the store, and I I didn't like that. I felt like they were uh, invading my space. I don't know. I just felt apprehensive. Uh, and then when I got home, I finally got home, and we were putting up groceries and stuff, uh, stuff. And I think it was just uh, uh, the residual after leaving out of that store. But I got really sick and nauseated. I had to sit down for a minute. You know, uh, I had to sit down for a minute and regain myself. And my fiance, he's used used to, I, know, I thank God for him because he's kind of used to, um, you know, what's going on with me. So he's very supportive, you know. Uh, he kind of told me to sit down for a minute and regain myself because he knew it was it was the contact, the energy and stuff in the store. He knew he he's kind of used to me having episodes like that when I go in crowds or whatever. That's why I try to always wear my crystal. But I wanted to know. I mean, I and it's so hard. It's just so hard. It's so hard for us to act like we don't see what's going on when we can see what's going on and. And we know if we say something about it that that person is going to pretend like that's not going on. We can see it as plain as day because they're, they're putting up such a facade to act like this is not going on with them. And in past, we can clearly see this is going on with you. So that's one thing, too. We don't, we don't really like to uh, force, you know, for, tell you what's going on. We, 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 prefer, we prefer the person to tell us. And if they don't want to tell us, that's at least how I am. If they don't want to tell me, then I don't push. You know, I don't push. If they don't want to tell me what's going on with them, I don't push. You know, I, I, I'll let them keep that facade up. But for me, the challenge is now is going around, you know, and it's really hurtful. I think it hurt. It really, it, it's it's really hurtful to me to know that they feel like that and they putting up such a front on 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 the surface. You know that's that it, that's hurtful for me and they and they truly don't understand how much they're hurting you. They really don't understand that. And if they really knew how much you can read and pick up on them, uh, I I. <laughs> I don't really think they would even want to be around you if they knew that you can pick up that much. And I just want to know, is there any other empaths that, you know, you know, how do you deal with family members like that? I know what I've done, you know, uh, since I truly know they feel like that about me. I know what I have done. I have just like removed myself from them. You know, I just don't want to be around fake people. I want, you know, to genuinely love me, you know, for me. Um, and I just, you know, I love them. Don't get me wrong. I do love them, but it's hard being around somebody and you know how they feel. I, you know how they feel about you because you're picking up all of this from them. You're picking up their thoughts. You're picking up, uh, those energies and those emotions 
even though they got this facade up, you still see past the facade. So, I mean, and I just, and, and, and that, that has, um, you know, I learned it it, 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 it bothered me. So I just start removing myself from those, from those uh, kind of people and just kind of, I, I spend a lot of time among myself, just to, among myself because I don't, uh, you know, it's just not too many people that I can't, you know, I, I get in, I peep into that energy and I can just see, you know, I can just tell sometimes if you authentic or if you're authentic or not. Uh, that's just like my fiance. We had a, a conversation the other day, and I kind of could see what was going on with him. And I, I, I waited a few days before we talked about it, but he was like, "Yeah, that was going in my mind. That was I was I was thinking about that, and I was like, yeah, I saw you going through that. So that's why I'm mentioning it, you know. So it's a lot of things I can see going on with him, him, him going through or whatever. He thinks that I don't see it." But I see it, and then I, I I politely talk to him about it, you know, uh, so he won't be tensed or stressed out about it. So, um, and 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 it, I, that's a good thing that I'm able to. I think that's a lot of things that keep our relationship communications open because sometimes when I do see things, I talk to him about them before it's an issue, you know. Uh, but I mean, I just want to know. I mean. It's this is it's lonely being an empath. I mean, I love being around people. You know, don't don't get me wrong. I love being around people, but uh, it's just those 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 extra sensory uh, skills or things that I pick up. You know, it makes it very hard for me to be around people who are not authentic or genuine. You know, I I immediately pick that up. You know, I try not to. Um, be apprehensive about it or, or, you know, or confront people about it. I, I just easily remove myself from them or whatever when I see that. Um, but, I mean, I just wanted to know how do you, you know, it's hard to shut that off around uh, people when, you know, they specifically feel a certain kind of way about you. And, uh it's just hard to be around those type of people. So, I mean, I just, I wanted to talk to people who have other empaths. How do you handle that? You know, how do you handle that? I know I spend a lot of time alone. Uh, I do. I do spend a lot of time alone. But that's how I just wanted to reach out to my empaths and talk about that because that bothered me. Uh, and I can't, I, you know, and that's something empaths we can't help but do. It's just what we do. We don't even know that we're doing this stuff. We don't even know we're picking up different vibrations and stuff like that. Sometimes we don't even be trying to do it, you know, and it's just something we do. We, we It's something that makes us feel uneasy. Uh, I don't, we can't even explain it. It's just something when you just know something is out of place. Have you ever just left the house and you feel like you're forgetting something, you're forgetting something? Or you just, it's something else. That's, it's sort of like that. And, you know, we don't be trying to do it, but we just pick up on on, 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 on certain things. And we, uh, we're able to read certain things. So it's not that I do it on purpose. I don't. And I hate feeling like that. I hate, you know, knowing how they feel. And they try so hard to hide it. You know, but it just, it shows in different ways. You know, so... I just want to know how many other empaths are have ha, have experienced this, and uh, how do you deal with uh, issues like that when you you know? How do you deal with that? You know, how do you deal with it? Um, I hope this video made sense. Uh, thank you for listening to this video. Love and light, and may the ancestors be with you.